and the doctor says cancer, really, he can stop right there. Not another word that he says will ever settle in. You see, I'm as fit as anybody in this room. Let me show you. Okay, this is where I have to admit I can't do a push-up. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have cancer. A decade ago, Dr. Randy Pouch gave his last lecture. He was a professor at Carnegie Mellon. And there for a moment, the, the nation focused on him. He made all the big TV shows, and he even wrote a book. He had a great message. But there was something beyond the message that we all listened to. It was because he was dying. Now, I found this very interesting. Why aren't we all good at dying? Mm. The only difference between us and him is he had a little more certainty on his ending. Makes me think of Seneca the Younger. After Nero commanded him to commit suicide, and his family began to cry. He reportedly said, why do we feel like we have to cry over the parts of life when all of it is so sad? Okay, too academic. Let's try something different. How about a cliche? Benjamin Franklin, there are few things certain in life outside death and taxes. And if Donald Trump has taught us nothing, it's just death. It's difficult to tell people that they're eventually going to die. It makes me think back to Roman times. They had these triumphs. When a general would defeat another army, they would throw a three-day party. And there's something about the Romans you should know, is that they party harder than you had ever have. We don't see this level of debauchery and hedonism in our society outside Daytona Beach during spring break. But there was an interesting feature they had during this party, is behind the general, they had a slave who would yell continuously throughout the festivities. Respice poste, momento humano, momento muere. Look behind you, you are only, remember, you're only human. Remember, you will die. Momento muere. Remember, you will die. Momento muere. Remember, you will die. Why do we need to be reminded of this fact? We seem to remind our children all the time. Last year, I sent a Halloween gift to my godson, Vaughn. And with it, I inserted a note where I list the litany of things we tell our children. Ring around the roses, a <coughs> pocket full of poses, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Bows breaking, babies falling, the only conclusion I can come is the baby didn't make it. There's an amusement park in Orlando, you may have been there once or twice, it's run by a mouse, <laughs> and inside that amusement park, there's a haunted house, and beside that haunted house is a gift shop. Would anybody want to guess what the name of that gift shop is? You guessed it. Momentum worry. So after my godson opened up his skull and read my note, I think his reaction to it could be best summed up by his younger sister, who said, Uncle Dan thinks you're going to die. <laughs> she got the message, perhaps not the tone. Now, do I tell you this to make you sad? No. I'm here as a liberator. Recently, I was taking an Uber trip to the airport. And when the Uber driver arrived, he was a white guy with dreadlocks. And I got in the car and had this smell, and it made me crave a bag of ranch Doritos, if you know what I mean. 
And on the way to the airport, I was buried in the back seat of my phone, and he turns on the radio and says, death is what gives life meaning, which is not something you want to hear from your Uber driver. <laughs> so I'd say to him, please don't give meaning to my life today? <laughs> to which he replied, dude, call me dude, dude, you're not yet dead. You're not yet dead. Momentum wary is not about, it's a reminder of death, but it's not about death. It's about telling us life is short, life is precious. Do not waste it. I only get seven and a half minutes in front of you today, but I would count this a success if just one of you goes out and challenges your current priorities. I will count today as success if somebody goes up and signs up for pottery class. Why pottery? I don't know, maybe you like mugs. Maybe you pick up the phone and call that relative that you only Facebook, Facebook stalk. Maybe today you leave work 30 minutes earlier so you can spend more time with your family. Mama Tamori, Uncle Dan thinks you're going to die. Dude, you're not dead yet. I don't tell you this.